if the government here was to reinstate mask restrictions, would you comply with that? No, never. Oh! 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 This is the first time that I've been on camera with my clothes on. Does that mean you have an OnlyFans? No. So what does that mean? It means that I don't go on camera with my clothes on. So you do pornography? Something like Very that. Very vehement. Why is that? Go away and leave me alone. Why are you f***ing off? Sir, are there children here? Go away, please. And uh, anything else you want to add? Um, f*** Trudeau. <laughs> uh, we came on down to Memorial Park in Oshawa. There was supposed to be, Mystery Camera Person X, a Labor Day celebration here, a barbecue, a festival. Now, I had lower hopes because this is notoriously a breeding ground for let's say the unhoused community as you can see there's a pile of clothes um a wardrobe if you will being non-electronically dried using solar energy let's say but it appears that there's nobody actually here so we're going to turn this into a little bit of an oshawa tour then we're going to head on down to the oshawa beach where i guarantee you there will be at least two dozen overweight unemployed people and we're gonna ask people if we should bring back masking. Is this something that people want? Especially at the beach where pathogens are most likely to be passed. This is where the locals in Oshawa get their um, their nutrients, their, their ozone, uh, a lot of calcium in these, in these, uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is it's filled with semen. But essentially you're gonna see people on different parts of their journey on their way to get illicit drugs throughout the day. So whether you see them running, walking on a motorized vehicle, a low-grade motorized vehicle, let's not kid ourselves and think there's actual cars being driven. It'll be some sort of celebration at Memorial Park. Do you know what happened? Uh, excuse me, you speak the French, uh, no English. Do you speak English? It's French. Where are you from, Quebec? Cameroon, Africa. Cameroon, oh, okay. Uh, then why are you here? Pourquoi ici? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, there was supposed to be a party at the the park. It's not there. No, it's joli. It's it's stuck. It's correct. Yeah. Well. um... What kind of job? Job construction. Oh, okay. What, when do you start? I can understand it more than I can speak it. My French father who speaks only to me in croaks and rivets. <laughs> he will be very disappointed in me. Once upon a time, this used to be a thriving, thriving area. Let's go up there and see what we can find. Picture it, the year is 1998. Downtown Oshawa is thriving. A pair of shoes. They appear to be in fairly good condition, camera first next. I mean, Perhaps they're Skechers, a reasonable brand. The year is 1998. <laughs> Oshawa's thriving. The Michael Starr building isn't as dirty as it looks right now. The leather on it are still reasonably clean. You're walking up here and you're saying, hey, I need to smoke a rock crack. What a time to start. I know it's a rock crack talk, but we can't go back there. Stairway. Oh, smells like. <laughs> <shit>. Oh. <laughs> okay. It appears that's where the unhoused community has been relieving themselves into a great pile, which I guess is sanitary in its own ways. We've come to, some say, 
the heart of Oshawa, Ontario, the lakefront. What you'll find here is bad food, bad parking, and disgusting waters, but I love it. It's my hometown. I'm wearing my high school garb, purchased for just $3.99 at the local thrift store, because this logo, you know, post dates my time there. And we're going to see if anyone wants to talk without labeling us as sex offenders. But the great thing about this is if you're a homeless person, then you can just sort of blend in with camping materials on the beach, steal a kid, make them pretend to be your relative, or you just bring the whole house with you, as this family seems to have done. In 1454, it's known as the Guy House. Um, traditionally, what happened here is the, the clientele would, would stand on the sidewalk here, and then the headmistress would bring all the women out to stand across this balcony. And the clientele, usually a rich uh, Saudi oil prince or prospector from the gold rush in California, they'd be standing here and they'd pick which one of the lovely ladies they would want to fornicate with. See, this Corvette is taking laps now. I'm not sure why. If the government here was to reinstate mask restrictions, would you comply with that? No, never. Never? Tell us more. I don't agree what they're saying about COVID, and um, I've been to Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, just before the lockdown a couple years back, and never got the virus, or whatever they want to call it, and never been vaxxed, and I'm healthy as an ox. Our kind of person here. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? What do you, f how do you, uh, what are you do doing down here at the lake today? It's very hot out. Yeah. I'm just thinking if they brought back masks and uh, on a day like this, I don't know how many people would do it. What do you think? Or do you think that most people would comply? Uh, I think this time around, I don't think people would comply. I think people learned the last time that it was um, doesn't work for one the masks, and the vaccine doesn't work either. It does more harm than good. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't like. I don't like that. You don't like what exactly? Wearing a mask. No. Do you think that? Uh, you think it's going to come back? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. Do you think the majority of people would comply if they said, like, in the next two weeks we're going to have to start masking up again, like, indoors, restaurants, all that sort of stuff? Hmm. I think it should be everyone's, like, choice. Yeah. Do you want to wear a mask or not? You? Nope. Why not? Before. Um, because I actually feel that masks um, are counterproductive to our health. I feel that how people use them, um, they reuse them and they reuse them. Some people wash them, some people use them in the gym, some people use them while they walk in their car. And I don't feel that's how you're supposed to be using the mask. I think it's like a one-time use, throw it out type of thing. The cloth ones, they don't really do anything. I think that if we just take extra precautions by covering our mouth, you know, using your sleeve or whatever, maybe coughing in your shirt, I think that's a better prevention than using the mask personally. 100% agree. Do you think people in general let's say around here in Durham, would comply if they brought it back? I think that um, based on the ending results, like based on the fines that people have realized after COVID, I don't think they'll be as easy to comply, but there'll still be some sheeple <laughs> who will put on a mask just because they feel that it will help them. Like I see, I still see people in the neighborhood in their cars wearing masks and they really don't have to. So yeah, I do think that people will still comply. My last question is, do you believe that I'm in high school because I'm wearing an O'Neill t-shirt? I don't know what high school that is. You don't know what high school that is? No, not a clue, but... Um, Where did you go to high school? I went to high school at St. Mary's in Notre Dame. So, and you don't know O'Neill? No. That's offensive? Is O'Neill in Oshawa? Yeah, the well, one by I, the hospital. Uh, okay, so, so Notre Dame is in Ajax. You guys want to come up and be interviewed? How is the trek up here? I can't get down there. They're not going to like this question. <laughs> They're inconspicuous young women who think that this is going to be just a friendly, you know. Hmm? We're going to attack them? Physically? The camera person just suggested I'm going to physically assault these women. Now, I wouldn't say that's out of the question, but what are you guys doing here today? Um, getting some sun so I don't look this white. This, this white? Or what are you, uh, Polish? Something like that. Something like that, okay. <laughs> Uh, we're asking people today with a lot of mask band-aids coming back if you guys would mask up if the government asked you to. Probably not. Why not? Because I'm a server and they need to see this face or I don't make my money. So is that the only reason you wouldn't wear it or is that a serious answer or what are we doing? Well, I also just don't like masks. 
Okay. Maybe I would wear a mask if I could vape underneath. It would hide my nicotine. What's the smell that we're getting down here is what I want to know. That's my, my next concern. As somebody who is a big drug user. Yourself? I can, yes. Okay. What kind of drugs are I'm we admitting most, to here on camera? We mostly like meth. Um, it smells exactly like that in a little bit of crystal meth in the air. Mm -hmm. So that's what I smell. Is this true? We're a big meth smoke. She's disagreeing, I think, with that sentiment. I don't know. You gotta try it. You gotta try it out? Yeah. Alright. I, I think you're not taking this seriously enough, cameraman. I think she just came up here to troll us, I think is the word. But I will not be out trolled. So if you're willing, um, we'd like you to go interview somebody else for us if you'd like to do that. You want me to interview people? No, yeah, why not? Okay, but like what is this interview type thing? What kind of questions do you want? Whatever you want. You're a troll individual, aren't you? Of course. Yeah, see? Would you mind if I interview you today? So what is your name? My name is Andy. Why are you at this beautiful park today? Yeah, beautiful. Pardon? <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful? Yeah. Why do you say that? Huh? Why do you say that it's beautiful? Because all the children? I don't understand. <laughs> He doesn't understand. This is the first time that I've been on camera with my clothes on. Does that mean you have an OnlyFans? No. So what does that mean? It means that I don't go on camera with my clothes on. So you do pornography? Something like that. Something like that. None of this is going to make the show, by the way. <laughs> Just immediate demonetization. <laughs> What is that? It means it has been deemed that you cannot profit off the video on YouTube due to porn. Do I get a profit out of this? No. Your profit is the experience of my presence, essentially. Oh. If you guys are a fan of the channel or the podcast, go to patreon.com slash uopod. Bonus podcast every week. This video is uploaded first there. So patreon.com slash uopod. Thank you for everybody who watches. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, send feet pics. I don't know. Big freedom guy. So what about you? Do you want to be interviewed? Nah, I'm good. No, you're good. What are you guys doing here today? Uh, we're at a church event party. Oh, very good. That's why he's got his strong There's beliefs. Which there. church is it? The Gospel Hall. And where's that? Uh, there's one in Oshawa here, but basically we're all over from all over Canada. Oh, cool. All right, you guys have a good day. Okay, yeah. I appreciate your opinion. Have have a good day. Pardon? Yeah, I know. Three ninety nine. At Value Village, but I did go to O'Neill. All right, see, this guy knew the, the other schools. The other person we interviewed said, "Where's O'Neill? I only I went to school in Ajax. I don't know where O'Neill is. It's bullshit. That's what I'm saying." Sir, reading the book. Can we interview you? No. That was very vehement. Why is that? Go away. And leave me alone. Why are you? Oh. Off? Sir, are there children here? Go away, please. I'll do it because you said please, but there's a little violence of me. Asshole. Now, how do you expect me to leave and you call me a name like that? Well, I appreciate that. The contingent at the lake has turned hostile. Um, interrupting, interrupting the reading was a mistake, I think. <laughs> Little bugs here. This restaurant, that kitchen was full. Did you get that? Did you get that? Oh my god. Now that's content. This is the P Lakeview Pavilion Restaurant. It's overpriced. I mean, I haven't been here in probably 10 years. It's, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, in fact, most people probably don't know it's here because you usually come to the beach to be outside and not eat at a restaurant. But for probably a good $29.99, you can get yourself a plate of fries. I don't know. See, 20 years ago in the early 2000s, with the advent of the Wigger, um, now they've all grown up grown probably haven't grown out of their fubu and exco because it was double xl when they got it but they have families now and what do they do with these families they take them to the lake so that they can continue the search for maybe the type of women we spoke to earlier keep the the cycle of mullets and i don't know what brand it would be now carhartt maybe i know a camera person likes that maybe that's what's going to happen maybe people find love at the lake i don't know i don't want it Where's all the, we have to ask these girls, they're dressing in period clothing, as in medieval time clothing, is what we're going to do. We're going to wait for these people to pass, 
and then we're gonna ask this girl. She's avoiding us, so that the question won't can't be asked. That's a uh, that's an avoidance. She's camera ready though. If they bring back a mask mandate, are you gonna wear it? Nope. Why not? Um, because I feel like people get more sickness from others, or from other con or um, how would you say it? More common, like a more common cold. It's the same same symptoms, same same bullshit. So if a mask mandate comes back, I will not wear a mask. When all this was happening, did, did you speak out against it? Did you get any trouble? Did your work force you to do anything? Um, so my work like put me on a hold. So I was technically fired from my job, haven't got a call back. Um, so I've been out of employment and it's hard to even find a job right now because all these other people are coming in, taking over and you can't get anywhere. This is what we call a based individual here. He's going to get in lots of trouble from having these opinions just like ourselves. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing down here at the lake today? Um, right now I'm having lunch with my girlfriend and uh, we're gonna go down to the beach and enjoy the water. All right, very cool. And uh, anything else you wanna add? Um, <laughs> Trudeau. <laughs> That's another question. Do you think, in my head I came up with it, do you think that if the mask mandate comes back that they'll see, let's say, over 60% compliance? After what happened the first time originally, I don't think so, no. I think people will fight more against it because now there's more information on what's going on with it. So there's more population that'll fight against it, right? Are there any politicians that you say that are going to get us out of this hole? Nope. No. Me neither. Do you know what my shirt is? Um, no, I'm not 100% sure. Did you go to high school around here? Yep. This is O'Neill, so I'm a little disappointed. Okay, yeah. Got the school, yeah, the high got school. Got this from... Value Village for $3.99. I've just been trying to alert people okay. about the bargain prices about high school yeah. athletic shirts. Okay. Which high school did you go to? Eastdale. Eastdale. Okay. Nobody. This is ridiculous. How many people do I ask today who go to high school, went to high school in this city, and they don't know the local logos? Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna take off from the Oshawa Lake View here. We've witnessed, you know, trouble, young troubled females with nowhere to go in life, uh, unemployed people people who aren't gonna mask up, which I support. And in generally, in generally, I must say, um, pretty impressed with some of the answers we received here about not asking. Some people are just like, yes, whatever, but Oshawa is seemingly on its last legs. These are where the, this is where the people are coming. Shout out to grounds crew guy. This is where the people are still coming. It's more families than it used to be, but we're down here at the Jube piles of poo. They're everywhere. It smells like poo everywhere. That's about all I got.